take just a moment to um, say a special thank you to Mr. Robinson. Mr. Robinson just came back from deployment and we would like to thank him for his service and dedication and wish him a very happy new year. Thank you. Jacob and Jeremy. They're here for a very special birthday celebration. Well, your dad and uncle wanted to send you guys a very special birthday message. Let's take a look. Hey kids, I want to wish you an early happy birthday from Monrovia. I wish I could be there with you to celebrate, but I can't. My special friend, Rocky, has brought you guys some birthday presents. Well, you guys heard him. Oh. Let's head to center court. We got some birthday gifts that Rocky wants to pass out. Are you ready? All right, Rocky, let's take them over. Team signed basketball, that is awesome. What about you, Miss Kylie? Oh, it's Olaf on one. What's that, Rocky? One? Of course you have one more gift. What do you got, Rocky? Okay. Brandy, you just let us know. Uh, starting in three, two, <coughs> one. We are creating a video to show on WEDS as part of our Veterans Day program. We want to conduct an interview with EDS students who have parents in the military. 
We have some questions we would like to ask you about what it is like when they are stationed overseas. Please introduce yourself. Um, I'm Grace Menzies and I am in seventh grade. I'm Jack Menzies and I am in fourth grade. I'm Lily Menzies and I'm in, I'm in kindergarten. Now great, now, now Lily, which one of your parents is in the military? My dad. What country is he in? Kuwait. Wow. When, Jack, when was the last time you saw your dad? Eight to seven months ago. And Grace, when is he scheduled to come home? Um, the middle of December. Um, what do you think of your dad and what does he do for a living, Grace? Um, he is a pulmonologist in the Navy and I think he's great. Lily, are you proud of what he does? Yes. And Jack, what do you do to help out others, other military fam families who are stationed in other countries? Well, um, I do pennies for peace. Um, it's here where it's not really the military, but it takes, well, pennies for peace takes, takes pennies, dimes, and all that stuff. And it takes, and then it donates to people in Pakistan, who um, it takes one penny to go to school for a day and one dollar to go to school for a week. <laughs> Actually hard to describe you uh, when you're gone all you think about is coming home and uh, I just got off the plane last night and my wife picked me up in Gulfport just about two and a half hours ago so uh, I'm still a little tired from traveling and uh, just happy to be home with my kids and my wife and uh, have time to think about it over the next couple of days I guess but uh, just I'm Usain Bolt, the fastest man in the world, and you're watching JR Sports Brief. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's JR. You're checking out the Sport Brief. This is a special edition of the Sport Brief. I'm standing here with Zach Eaton. He is the brother of outfielder Adam. It's the 4th of July weekend, and you actually have a little surprise for your brother, right? I do. I plan to uh, head on out there to center field before the game, and uh, as he's trotting out there, uh, to think of just meeting a military person is going to be me, so now, looking you, forward to it. And you're serving in the Air Force right now, huh? I am. Uh, I'm currently in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm an Air Force ROTC instructor, 
at the University of Nebraska. So that's where I'm at now. So we spoke with him earlier today, and he has zero idea that you're here. How is he going to react? Have you done something like this with him before? No, this is going to be a completely surprise to him. So, so I'm, hoping, uh, I'm hoping he doesn't see me until he starts jogging out their disposition. Hopefully, me once he hits the grass and then looks up and sees me, I'm, I'm hoping to see a big smile on his face. Big smile. Is he going to do any backflips? Is he going to steal any bases? What, what, are, we looking, <laughs> what are we looking for here? Well, you know, I'm thinking about doing the Alexi Ramirez jump uh, that they do at second base when the White Sox win. So, uh, I can't get quite as high as Alexi, but, but I'm going to try. We'll see how it goes. Well, listen, man, you're in shape. I think you could beat Alexi in a lot of things, man. <laughs> we are here in the Chicago White Sox dugout with my main man, Adam Eaton, outfielder, speedy. Uh, you're getting triples out there. You're slapping the ball all over the place. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you? I have nothing to complain about. It's just the holiday weekend. Adam has probably never had an interview like this, have you? Never. No, First time. That's a good thing. It's, uh, we, do, we do things real loose and light over here. None of that jerk stuff. It's the holiday weekend. Uh, people are probably eating hot dogs and getting fat and playing baseball. But sometimes people forget the meaning of the holiday. It's our independence. There are people out there who protect it. Can you talk a little bit about the service men and women who just protect our country and allow you to play baseball, allow me to talk, allow the fans to sit in the stands? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, you know it's it's very important here. Uh, you know in Chicago and for the White Sox and really in Major League Baseball. Um, you know to play such a great game. Um, you know, on July 4th is special to us. Uh, you know, the men and women who served and protect this country and, and to protect this independence is, is uh, you know, high on our list for sure, if it's not the highest. So, you know, we, we appreciate all they do for us and, uh, you know, for, uh, for us willing, you know, to play this, this great game and, uh, you know, like I said, on a, such a great day. I can dig it now. I grew up in a military family. It's like all the men in my family have served. You have members of the, of, of the military in your family as well, right? Yeah, my uh, my mom, dad, and uh, my brother is currently serving. Wow, that's awesome. So, I mean, you're out here slapping around the balls and having fun, but it's okay. We need them out here, too. Any last words for the servicemen and women out there, Adam? Uh, like I said, we just really do appreciate uh, all you guys do for us. Um, you know, it's, it's a commitment in itself, your families, yourself as an individual, and uh, we really appreciate you. Thank you very much. Cool. It's my main man, Adam Eaton. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thank you for having me. Go steal those bases, baby. When I spoke to Robin, you know, every now and then I could go out there and try to help with the pinch running. You know, I could drop a bunt every now and then. I come in in the eighth inning and night, and I, I'm not trying to take your spot, but I can, add, right. I can add a little bit of speed. There you go, eh? More of the merrier. I'm really excited. Uh, this is my first time actually being uh, able to see one of the games here. Uh, and I haven't been back to my hometown, Toledo. I graduated from Wade High School in 1999, and I haven't really been back home for very long during those uh, last uh, few years. So, uh, and this is my first time really at the stadium. I had an opportunity to take a, a small break before I have to go and report to my next station for training. My wife had the idea that while we were in town to come to a baseball game, she ended up not telling the kids that I'm gonna be coming home. Hey fans, there they are, our Kids Club members of the game, Calvin and Evelyn Johnson. And you know what? We have a special surprise. Hey, Calvin and Evelyn, take a look behind you. It's their father surprising them today from training. He was there for seven weeks in Alabama. Give it up for Captain Archie Johnson. Our Muddies Buddies Kids Club members of the game. Congratulations. Dad is home. I contacted the Mud Hens and just asked them, like, can we just, you know, get together and have this kind of surprise for the kids? And then the Mud Hens crew just totally made this a really neat experience for us. So they just put it all together and it was really cool. Understand her, man.
Hey Catherine, uh, happy Valentine's Day. I just want to take a couple of minutes and send this video to you. Uh, please have all the kids there. If you need to just push pause, that's fine. Get all the Dancing with the one you love in the kitchen. So, I love you very much, Catherine. So, we'll, we'll be dancing tonight. Yay! <laughs> so, dance with him. Oh, whoa, look at Jackie go. Woohoo! That's great. <laughs> there you go, dance. Thank you. 
No, 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 Oh, 
What's happening there, darling? Huh? Yeah, she's right there. Okay. Um, Tegan and James are here. Okay, he needs to hurry up. I've been filming for ages. Okay. 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 I just want to film her reaction. Oh, no, I'm going to hide it back. Oh, really? 